Uh, hi, I'm Mike Skirla with Philips Electronics. I'm here to talk about OcuSwitch Wireless. I'm the product manager for the indoor network controls in North America. OcuSwitch Wireless allows you to take uh, all of the installation complication of traditional motion sensors and remove that while having a cost-effective commercial solution for your office space. Uh, putting up the sensors is as easy as putting them on the ceiling and have, putting a retrofitting a load controller on the wall into an existing box. So right here we have the Philips OcuSwitch Wireless Switch load controller. And then we also have the, the dimmer, which will dim any Mark 10 compatible dimmer. From there, everything is wireless. So you can not only uh, override, but monitor the energy consumption and usage of the system uh, all through a wireless control system that we call Light Manager. Light Manager is in a, a wireless Zigbee open standard pr uh, platform that allows us to harvest all of the information and data back from motion sensors and load controllers and use that information in the facility to better tune uh, how the facility is operating. So uh, an example that we have right now is energy reporting that's up on the screen. We monitor energy reporting, occupancy. Uh, we can also do features called task tuning, which allow you to say, so during a daylight period, you want your motion sensors to operate a certain way, but in the evening, perhaps you want it to operate on a much more five minute basis. As more natural light is lost in the room, the lighting load will increase in level to balance the ambient light. Of course, the reverse is true uh, in the morning. As more natural light is allowed in, the lighting load will dim. All that can be done through task tuning globally for not only a single facility, but for multiple buildings in a facility or even across the country or the world. What we're showing right now is the dashboard of the OcuSwitch Wireless Light Manager user interface. The user would come in here and immediately they see the daily facility savings based on calculated data that has been put in during commissioning on energy usage and uh, rates. To the right, you can actually see the graph of our usage, uh, our hourly energy usage throughout the day, yesterday, and then of course into the evening when everything was turned off, and then back up and turned on in the morning. We've moved over to reporting. Uh, as you can see, there's several types of reports you can get into, including uh, general energy usage and savings, occupancy, specific zone usage, and then on that, what type of data you want to generate. Right now, we're just going to look at the last few days and our energy usage of our booth, which shows three days of usage right now in activity uh, and uh, the difference between what, what energy has been consumed by the OcuSwitch wireless dimmer and the OcuSwitch wireless switch, represented in green. Upgrades are generally cloud-based. Uh, you can also load them locally if you want to, but upgrades are taken um, th from uh, Philips and directly uh, implemented onto the wireless access controllers. The interesting thing about the system, it's very redundant as well. If one component fails, um, there is no, say, central system in this, uh, uh, one box that causes a failure of the entire system. We do have a system controller, and that's mostly doing reporting of energy monitor monitoring and, uh, and all of the data that's coming in. However, if that component for some reason disappears off the network or there's a power failure, all of the information is also saved in the wireless access controllers and the devices. So you still have operation of your lighting system even though perhaps your reporting functionality is down. Um, so it's, it's a distributed model instead of a centralized model in general.